television in any of your countries, wherever you come from, he has been on national television. <laughs> Most lately on Fool Us in the US. Do you know Fool Us, the series? Okay, so. Who has time to watch TV? <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Ryan Hayashi. Thank you. Uh, mixed International Group, the company, is Vitre. Yes. You are some of the planet's top managers here at Germany's best business school, the European School of Management and Technology. I'm just doing advertising on the video. So <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm the surprise session. I come from a completely different segment. Um, I'm a magician. So I use uh, my product is fun and uh, I utilize perception in order to craft experiences for people, make them laugh and believe they're seeing magic. Uh, so I'm gonna show a little bit of my craft, my product, um, talk a little bit about how perception relates to your field of expertise, marketing and, and, and sales, and then uh, I would like to leave some, some space at the end to talk about um, any questions you have, because if I do a good job and everyone has fun, we'll put the show stuff at the front, you may have a few questions. So, a bit about my background. Uh, why has the esteemed colleague, Professor Dr. Johannes Havel, brought me in to uh, a school of business which consistently ranks in the world's top 20 league with, with MIT uh, and top universities like Princeton? Um, I've been very active. I do come from an academic background. I teach at the University of Mannheim, which uh, some of you may know is uh, one of Germany's premier universities for economics and business. Uh, we actually met at the University of Mannheim 13 years ago, a long time ago. I've taught for the, the Department of Anglistic, English Studies. My background is linguistics. I've also taught for the MKW, Media Kommunikationswissenschaft in German. <laughs> Media Communication Studies, Making TV and Movies. Media, okay. Um, in the last 11 years, I've had the good fortune of doing 38 national primetime national television appearances in 12 different countries, um, six different languages. And if you enter my name in YouTube, you get 50, 5, 0, 50 million uh, clicks for one video. So indirectly, as far as marketing the product that I offer uh, to the consumer, I, I, I'll share my experiences with you. Okay, um, what, what countries am I dealing with? I was just told it's does everyone understand German in this group, or no. I should be doing this in English? Yes. Okay. Um, who speaks another language other than Norway. English? Norwegian. No Norwegian. Hey, hey, Oda. It's not going to be Norse. Yeah, it's not going to be Norse. Which is close enough. She could understand. Yeah. If I speak to her in Swedish, it sounds more elegant. If I try to switch to my fake Danish, then it sounds like an angry drunk. Okay. Um, other languages, just so I know who I'm dealing with. Finnish. Finnish. I'm Czech. You're Czech. Okay. Dobar uh, večer. Uh, ahoy. Ahoy? Yeah. Moving trošku česky. Ja dofan jem ne. Dotsala na prio rozumie. Yeah, okay. Now I've been to Prague more times than I can count. Actually more times than I can remember. Yeah. Prague is crazy, man. Just, I, I, I'll, I'll keep it clean, but I'll just say the truth till now. If you've ever been to Prague, it's one of those places where if you, it, you can party so hard, you wake up the next morning under a bridge in Mexico, <laughs> no clothes, no money, no passport, you're handcuffed to a girl who looks like Jennifer Lopez, you don't know who she is, why she's wearing your ring, or how she died. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Other languages, please? Other? French. Vous parlez le français? Couramment. Vous êtes française. Vous parlez le français standard. Moi non. Je suis anglophone qui essaie d'imiter la langue française. Next language? <laughs> No? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Dutch. 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 <laughs> 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 we are the Dutch and Herren. I've been here from Dutch and Utah to see how I can make my case. I've been here to control it. And I had uh, 10 years ago in the new Netherlands, uh, 2008 or 2009, in the uh, Netherlands television gewerkt. Uh, SBS 6, the new Uur Geller. I was the same with the same with the same. And the concomers. Okay. Uh, any other language? I'll just jam and have Martin, could you, could you understand? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think 
think I can make up that much fake noise? <laughs> 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 it was a joke. It's all right. You're a good person. All right. Swiss German, I'm sorry. I, I, I live for 18 years here in Deutschland, and I've been international unterwegs and can't lie to you and all kinds of shit to do with your But we're cool, we're bros, yes. yes. Language, please. Uh, uh, Japanese. Hi, what is your Hayashi? Hayashi does. Her name is actually Hayashi. Yes, please. Oh, shit. Hayashi. You married a Hayashi. But not this one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for, for Japanese is great. Sounds good. Okay, maybe one or two last things, and then I'll start doing my magic thing. Any other cool languages in the room? Now I was told we have uh, British and Americans in the room as well. Is that correct? Who's who's American? Who's British? Who's it? <laughs> All right. I'm using the body language because it just hinged at the elbow and went like this. We had a minimum nod. Very. Are you, are you the Brits? <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if, if I may say this, L uh, last year, 2017, I appeared on a, a British television show on ITV called Tonight at the London Palladium. Yeah. Now, having grown up in North America at the age of 25, then I lived in Japan, and then I moved here, and I'm based in Europe. I'd never heard of it, and I'm sorry, because outside of Britain, like if you go to North America, nobody knows who Robbie Williams is, for, for example. So we're not exposed to that, that region's television. So I, I show up, and uh, I'm talking to members of the, the British Magic Circle, which is the, the populace has heard of. And, and I said, yeah, hey, how you doing, mate? Let's, let's go up for India. And, oh, you're in town. Yeah, right. The London boys. I said, we meet up. Hey, good to see you, mate. How you doing? Uh, we're doing it. Yeah, I like her. Right, right. Over dinner. Yeah, what are you doing here anyway? I, I'm doing this television thing. What's it called? Tonight at London Palladium. <laughs> Curry all over the place. It's like, mate, the British magicians would kill this. So, all right, we're cool. Uh, Who's the American? American? All right. Now, no offense to the Europeans, because I'll, I'll, I'll make this very fun and universal for everyone, but I will ask minimum one Brit and one American to come forward so that as I'm performing, I get some reactions. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Colin and Jenny, if you, if you don't mind, would you uh, come to Jenny? <laughs> I'm just using generic names so that it, it looks like we all know each other. I'm going to look at you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Melissa. And hello. Could, can I ask you on this side? Then I get a reaction on both sides. And the other two seats, yes, are absolutely free. Who would like a magical experience? <laughs> Who would like to uh, to sit at, at, at the, the magic table? As I, I would like to. All right. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Zdenek. Zdenek. Yes. Zdenek. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Zdenek. Zdenek. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm Stavory Mr. Zishaponska. That sounds good. <laughs> now, don't be offended, but automatically, if I try to speak what little Russian or Polish or Czech I can, I automatically sound like Borat. <laughs> that's yeah. correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. We have one, we have one free, we have one free, oh, we have two gentlemen here. One lady, one lady, would you? Please. What's your name? Heidi. Heidi. Nice to meet you. Are you Swiss, Heidi? No, I'm Norwegian, Heidi. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, the, 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 uh, it's okay. Thank you. Um, okay. I'll just, I'll get, I'll get by you. This is not harassment. I just have to be honest. Thank you, Melissa. All right. I thought it was so. Jenny. No, 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 no. All right. My contractually agreed upon Magic Boy Monkey Dance begins now. This is a, a short opener. People will react, and then we'll get applause. Okay, what you're about to see looks like special effects, but this is real and happening live. I'm going to show something absolutely freaky with a deck of cards with no other human can do. Melissa? Yes. I'm going to look away into the camera. Uh, I'll go zip, 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 zip through the cards. Please say stop when you want. Stop. Okay, please show her. Hold it against your shoulder so I don't get to see it. And uh, would you remind me of your name, please? Colin. Nice. Colin. John. <laughs> uh, charmed, I'm sure. Yes. Jonathan, would you please also say stop when you like? Stop. Show him. So two people have seen it. Try to remember your card. Then hold it against your shoulder so I can't see it. Melissa, throw your card back inside anywhere you like. Is it in there? Mm -hmm. Jonathan, same thing. Card goes back in the deck. I felt something. We're good. Watch this. Here comes the magic. Just do it. 
lightning fast, I've now located two cards and turned them around. They're reversed. Look at that. See? What do we get? The two black queens. We have the queen of spades and the queen of clubs. You don't look impressed. <laughs> I didn't say I had the correct cards. I just said I found two cards super fast. And here comes the magic. Now, using the two black queens, I can create the illusion that they find those two cards I was looking for all alone. The trick is done. I'll put the rest away. I have two cards here, one red, one black. Melissa, just tell us the color. Was your card red or black? Black. Black card. I'm going to make you look good. Here we go. You don't wait, need wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. We'll get everyone excited. We're building up attention here. Uh, Jonathan? Yes. Yes. Red! I'm no longer going to touch the cards. They're isolated in the wine glasses. I'll just stay here and not move. Tell us, what was your card? Eight of spades. The eight of spades. What was yours? Ten of hearts. The ten of hearts. Eight of spades, ten of hearts. Would you be amazed, ladies and gentlemen, if the two black queens found the eight of spades and the ten of hearts? Go ahead, uh, take the cards out, turn them around, show everybody, let everybody see that you now have. Uh. The two black queens, there's a card right there! That's what I'm talking about!